Hello everyone, I hope you are fit and fine. Today, in this video session, we are going to see a beautiful poem, Tartri. Tartri is a poem written by Walter de la Mer. Walter de la Mer is an English poet who is very famous for children's fiction. He had written so many stories, so many poems for the children. So, this is also one of the poem which is so popular among the children. So, without wasting the time, let's see the poem Tartri. Before that, just observe this particular picture carefully. And just think about the picture or just think that which kind of things were there. So, let's see. Here in this particular picture, you can see one boy. And of course, the boy wearing his nightdress. So it means this is a dream of that particular boy. In his dreams, he had seen so many things. Tartri, let me tell you the meaning of this particular word. Tartri means this is an imaginary land or imaginary kingdom or imaginary state you can say. And in this particular state, this particular boy would like to become the king or the supreme ruler of this particular region. So let's see what kind of the things he had seen in his dream and what are the wishes of this particular boy. So agar abhi tak aapne hamare channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai, please to subscribe our channel for new and innovative learning of English language. Please to subscribe. So let's see the first stanza of the poem where the poet said if I were lord of Tartri, myself and me alone, my bed should be of ivory, of beaten gold my throne, and in my coat should peacocks plant, and in my forest tigers haunt, and in my pools great fishes slant their fins athwart the sun. So this is a beautiful stanza with rhythmical pattern. Of course, remember here we have rhyming pairs like Tartri, Ivory, Alone, Throne, Plant, Haunt, Slant, Sun. So it means remember this is a beautiful poem with a beautiful rhythm. So in the first stanza of the poem, the poet or the boy you can say said that that if i were lord of tartary if i would become a lord of tartary myself and me alone so he would like to become the supreme ruler of this kingdom and he would like to become one and only ruler of this kingdom and this is an imaginary land and of course he would like to become the king of that particular region so here he said that agar mai is tartri is region ka agar mai ek raja ban gaya so definitely remember mai kya kya karunga ya kya kya cheeze mere saath hogi ya kya kya mere paas hoga so let's see he said that my bed should be of ivory so he said to us that his bed would have become made of ivory 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 means this is the tusk of the elephant हाथी के जो दांत होते हैं उन्हें आइवरी कहते हैं बट हियर यू कैन से दैट दिस इज द बेड विच वॉज मेड विथ द मटेरियल ऑफ आइवरी विथ ए वाइट कलर बिकॉज द कलर ऑफ द टस्क ऑफ एलिफेंट इज वाइट एंड ऑफकोर्स यू लाइक टू मेक हिज बेड विथ द आइवरी एंड हिज थ्रोन विल बिकम ऑफ बीटन गोल्ड बीटन गोल्ड दिस इज अ प्रेशियस काइंड ऑफ द गोल्ड which is flattened and he said that his throne will become of made of of gold and this gold definitely have the so many other ornaments as well so he said that his throne will definitely one of the unique one and he will have this particular throne of beaten gold he said that in my court should peacock plant so in his court he would like to give the free entries for the animals and birds as well he said that 
in his courts so many peacocks will come and of course they will show or they will show off in his court peacocks these were extremely beautiful birds and he said that in my court should peacocks plant plant means show off proudly so these peacocks will show off proudly in his court and in the forest of his kingdom so many tigers will come or they will haunt there haunt means they will lose there and in my pools so many fishes will be there those were or those fins fins means matsya pang jinko kehte hain so with the help of fins they were swimming in the water so their fins outward the sun outward means in a slanting direction in across manner so their fins they will moving or they will slanting means they were tilting they were moving and they will moving as per the light of the sun and of course remember this is a poem which told us one of the dream of the boy in this particular dream he would like to become the king of the tartary one of the imaginary land one of the imaginary kingdom and after became the king of this kingdom he would like to made or he would like to have so many things so this is an imaginary poem which has the dreamy quality because when we read this particular poem hum bhi us dream mein kho jate hain hum bhi us dream ko jeene lag jate hain so due to that this particular poem has the dreamy quality and in the box you can see the poem has a dreamy quality does the picture reflect it whatever the picture i had shown you so that picture clearly indicates that this is one of the imaginary world this is one of the fantasy world and in which this particular boy would like to live so of course we had discussed about the picture so we are going or moving ahead and we are going to discuss about the second stanza of the poem before that let me tell you in this particular session we are going to complete the half part of the poem half part of this or remaining part of the poem we will complete in the next session so let's see the second stanza of the poem in which this boy once again said that if i were lord of tartary trumpeters every day to every mill would summon me and in my courtyard bray and in the evening lamps would shine yellow as honey red as wine while harp the flute and mandolin made music sweet and gay so in second stanza also his wishes were growing and increasing wishes were what that if i were lord of tartary he says that if i was the lord of tartary every day trumpeters will call me with the help of their trumpets trumpets this is one of the musical instrument so every day ye jo trumpeters wo kya karenge har din apna trumpet baja ke unhe kya karenge khana khane ke liye invite karenge so this is a dream which is very beautiful and of course in which this particular boy has the dream that every day this trumpeters will call him with their trumpets to every mill would summon me summon means to call me and in my courtyard bray so when the king walking towards the dining that time remember dining room dining hall that time remember all the trumpeters will create such kind of the music bray means to make noise with the help of the trumpets and of course this is one of the royal treatment this particular boy would like to have and here he said that in the evening in the evening in his courtyard he would like to shine the lamp lamp of which color lamp of yellow yellow as honey and red as wine so this is his dream that in the evening he would like to see the decorative courtyard with the help of the so many lamps and these lamps will be of different colors so he said that yellow as honey red as wine so this is a beautiful use of the simile because as as is the yellow as honey red as wine while harp the flute and mandolin made music sweet and gay 
so he said that in the evening he would like to listen beautiful music melodious music and different musical instruments were mentioned here harp is there flute is there mandolin is there so all the players of these musical instruments they will play such kind of the music which is sweet and gay gay means happy sweet music he would like to listen because now he became the lord of tartary he became the king of tartary so this is his dream that every day his schedule will be like this so every day trumpeters will call him with the help of their trumpet every day they will call him for meal and in the evening he would like to shine his courtyard with so many colored lamps and he would like to listen the sweet and gay music happy music so he would like to listen harp the sound of flute the sound of mandolin so it means in this poem this is the imagination of the boy that if by chance he will become the lord of any one of the kingdom like tartary what will happen so this is a beautiful dream in which the poet or you can say this particular boy would like to live his life with fullest with full joy with satisfaction with happiness so it means so many things he would like to have in his life so in his court he would like to give the entries to so many birds and animals as well so here peacock is mentioned and in his forest he would like to give the entries to the entries to which animal entries to the here i have mentioned mentioned the fishes and the peacocks and he would like to give the free roaming to the tigers in his forest forest of his kingdom so here i would like to tell you one thing that this is an imaginary poem which definitely helps us to live in the fantasy world so with this particular line i would like to conclude here i would like to thank you very much for watching my videos stay home stay safe stay tuned thank you everyone